This 94 Impala SS took a huge transformation when it spent its time here at Condiga Design. Man, it came out killer, didn't it? I've never seen another one look this mean. Yeah. I mean, this is just a mean looking car. We've changed the color, the color of the interior, the engine, the transmission, wheels, brakes, front bumper, rear bumper, hood has been customized. Whew. It's been a lot of work. You know, and the wheels on this car are so oh, no. badass. Doing the three-piece on this just looks killer. This is a 22-inch in the back on the new rear end, all custom suspension, big Willwood brakes. These B-Forged wheels with this matte finish on the inside really sets off against the gloss black and these killer tire stickers. And this is the same bronze that's on the car, right? Right. So we did the graphic and basically used a quarter-inch stripe of that same color around the perimeter of the black insert, which just means this car up. And the back end of this car came out killer with that roll pan, the LED smoke tail lights that we've done. We had to do a little bit of custom work here on this big emblem, so I brought the blind through here, kept the whole inside of the Impala logo in the same bronze color, and then just did the two-tone on the base. Jordan built that whole exhaust, and then we did black all the way, even the tips were black. Yeah, it's all murdered out underneath, but that red makes it pop. Check out the interior Justin did. The hand stitching on the steering wheel, the custom gauges, and this killer black leather with all the red top stitch. Oh, I, the love, seams. I love when he does that black and red. I mean, that's, that's probably one of my favorites. Looks amazing. Back seat passengers are going to be really comfortable right up until you turn up the tunes. Not only does this Impala look bitchin' from top to bottom, but it screams power from under the hood. What are we doing under the hood? Well, there's a lot of little things. There's so many little things, it's big. We started with an LSA long block. We changed the cam. We did valve springs. We put a supercharger on it. We did a small pulley to up the boost. Nice accessory driver. I mean, everything just looks clean. It looks like it could have came like this from the factory. This bronze color ties in exactly with the rest of the wheels, the graphics, all that stuff. This is a great themed way that we put this together. And there was another little trick. These new valve covers, we machined out the fins and put in the Impala logos off of the rear cell panels. That just kind of ties it in so it looks like it was born there. 840 at the crank. And you were six. I was like 650 at the wheel. at the rear wheel. They were so badass. And the guys did a fantastic job on this hood scoop. The way they built this was just really well done. This nice tight reveal. It looks like a ZL1 Camaro hood scoop, but this is for an Impala SS. And you could trick people. People would think that's off of another car, but we handmade it. Yeah. That front roll pan looks nice. The blacked out headlights. Just a real mean look. This was definitely a different style car than what we normally build here, but that fits right into what we do. This car really turned out nice. Even though it's a little bit older, but not quite old enough to be a total classic, this car really turned out bitching. But we better test drive it and make sure this thing is 100% Mambo. I'm driving. overall turned out killer. It looks fast, it looks great, it is fast, and it is great. It's bitching from top to bottom. If Zeus had a car, he would put a lightning bolt in its ass and it would be his car. It's amazing. All right.